Does this look yummy to you? Well, be warned, you may be about to lose your appetite. This is 51-year-old Angela Goodall, all 300 pounds of her. She's 5 foot 8, and if only she was 30 years younger, she might look like this. Exactly the same. Only this is Alison, Angela's 23-year-old daughter. She also weighs 300 pounds, or a staggering 21 and a half stone. Like mother, like daughter, they love their food. But it's not just the grub that's made them grow so overly obese. They love a tipple, or ten. In just one week, they can drink over 10,000 calories in alcohol alone, the eating equivalent of 80 doughnuts. At 43 stone between them, these two are toting excess weight in line with 10 portable tellies. And they're about to get a rather poor reception. I'm beyond horrified. There's no word to explain how I feel or what I think about that. That is binge drinking and that is dangerous. Between them, Mum Angela and her daughter Alison sink a colossal 13 and a half litres of alcohol a week. So it's handy for Alison that she works behind a bar. Her liver may think differently. Most I've had in one night is 10 pints of lager. Most men couldn't drink that. No, no. <laughs> it's amazing she can remember. Mum Angela has her night on the tiles on the sofa at home, enjoying several glasses of vodka. But her spirits aren't quite so high the next day, even after a cup of tea and a ciggy. Every morning, if I've had a drink the night before, I have diarrhoea. Lovely. While Mum is busy emptying her body after a night on the booze, daughter Ali is busy filling hers. Hangover food is oatcakes, and all the junk food you can think of is what I crave for the next day. It's hangover crap, isn't yeah. it? It's anything that's not good for you. And it's not just the hangover food that's bad. Ali's getting porky on pork scratchings, which she loves to swill down with her beer. And when she gets home, Mum has the perfect snack before she hits the sack. A fry-up to die for. So, can anyone save their bacon? Enter no-nonsense holistic nutritionist Gillian McKeith. GMK says no way to dodgy diets, including booze. And she has only eight short weeks to set bulging boozers Ange and Ali on the highway to health. I'm coming in, aren't I? <laughs> As always, her first stop is the kitchen, and it's a fridge too far. How many fry ups do you make? Because that's obviously what you're doing with all this, Lots. right? Lots of cheese. Oh dear, Gillian's about to find the hangover food that Angela lovingly cooks for her daughter. Just some pizza and some oat cakes. You are looking up. Oats are actually quite good for you. Yeah, but not the fillings you put in. <laughs> the bacon and cheese. After it's been fried to bits, right? Yeah. When I look at this, it looks to me like somebody who's bent over backwards. You've bent over backwards for your daughter, haven't you? Mm. You've bent over backwards to give her the worst food a mother could possibly give to a child. Tactful as ever, but there's worse to come. Somebody likes a tipple. I do like a drink. How much alcohol? Oh, how much vodka? Let's start with that first. How much vodka are you drinking? Uh, I have three, three large glasses at night. Keep this up and you could easily, over the years, damage your liver. There's too many toxins that has been produced. And quite frankly, you should both be wearing signs that say hazardous waste, because I think people should be warned away from you. 